I'm Morna, and today I'm going to read a story about Ferdinand. This book is written by Munro Leaf, and the drawings are by Robert Lawson. Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He just liked to sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under the cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid that he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your heads? She would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. And as the years went by, Ferdinand grew. He grew and he grew until he was a, he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. But one day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping so that men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and they would pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Uh-oh. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You'd sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Whoa! Did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort and he ran around puffing and snorting and, and butting and pawing the ground and as if he were crazy. Yep. And the five men 
they saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day and cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Well, they had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bandilleros with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. And I think that made me mad too. And next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick the bull and make him madder. Poor guy. Then came the matador, the proudest of all, he thought he was very handsome and he bowed to the ladies. He wore a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. Well, and you know who that is, don't you? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandilleros were afraid of him, and all the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador, he was scared stiff. And Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and they clapped their hands because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Here he comes. It's a big ring. Look at all the people. It's huge. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring and he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat there, smelled, and the bandilleros were mad, and the picadores, they were madder, and the matador, well, he, he was so mad that he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. Oh, boy. So... They had to take Ferdinand home, back in the cart. And for all I know, he's sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly, and he is happy. Very happy. This reminds me of some flowers that we were, we were planting the other day. We were planting sunflowers. There's a song, and maybe you can sing it with me. It goes like this. Inch by inch and row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch and row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Pulling weeds and picking stones, we are made of dreams and bones. Feel the need to grow my own, cause the time is close at hand. Grain for grain and sun and rain, find my way in nature's chain. Tune my body and my brain to the music from the land. Now you know this part. Inch by inch and row by row. 
gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch and row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Bye y'all, see you very soon.